Well, Maddie, bad luck on today's result, but what do you feel will be the main takeaway points for you after playing a great match on Rod Laver Arena? Thank you. Um, yeah, today was a pretty special opportunity, I think, and experience. I thought I played really well in the first set and then, yeah, it's just, it's been a big week. <laughs> lots of, lots of things happening and, um, yeah, I thought Kai played really well in the second and the third and she's obviously a really good player, so it got away from me a bit there, but I'm really grateful for the experiences that I've had this week and I'm looking forward to taking it into this year. Thank you. We'll go to In The Room. Paul? Yeah, Maddie, um, how, how, how much confidence do you get out of today's match moving forward, uh, knowing what you've come to in this tournament and what you can go to in the future? Yeah, I think it's... I've, I was kind of just, you know, reflecting a little bit these last couple of hours. Um, and I think, you know, it's been an amazing week for me. And I just feel like I've taken a bit of belief out of it that I can, you know, that I can play at this level and I belong here, I think. And I think I've just got to, like in today's match, I've just got to be able to maintain it longer against those those really good players um, for, you know, three or four or five matches in a row. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to take a lot of confidence into this year, which is exciting. And, yeah, hopefully I'll get a few more opportunities like this. Mark? Congratulations on the, on the week. But Thank you. It's, it's obviously too soon now to know how it's all going to soak in. Um, but what's yeah. it like as someone who comes in, you've never won a Grand Slam match, and you're suddenly a set up, away, you know, one set away from reaching the fourth round, and, and the whirlwind that's come with the media attention and yeah. just the excitement. Can you take us through what it's been like? Yeah, it's been it's been really special, um, and I've I mean I've enjoyed this week so so much and. Playing on Rod Laver today was, it was a dream come true and I was so, so excited and so happy just to be out there um, playing. You know, they asked me yesterday, would you be okay if you're on Rod Laver? And I was like, like, um, that's, you know, that's why I play the sport. That's one of the biggest courts in the world. So to play out there today was an unbelievable experience. And even though I didn't get over the line today, I think there's a lot of positives that I can take out of it. Um, Thank you. Can you take us into your mind when you had won that first set because everything was going so perfectly at that stage and, yeah. and I suppose the lessons you'd learned from what happened in the next couple of sets? Yeah, I think I thought I played quite solid in the first set and I was, you know, dictating the points a little bit more and she was, she made a few errors I think that maybe she wouldn't, maybe she didn't in the second and third but I thought maybe just dropped a little bit um, in most aspects. <laughs> I'd really tried to keep my energy going and I tried to, um, you know, get get energy from the crowd and they were amazing out there, the crowd. So I was really lucky to have that. And yeah, I think she just, she played really well in the second and third and I don't think I played my best. So it wasn't a good combo. Viv? What do the next few weeks look like for you and, and have you changed any of your plans as a result of this week? Yeah, I think I, I do have to have a bit of a look the next couple of days of what I... I was planning to go back to Perth <laughs> to see my family, um, but I think that might change now because of the announcement a couple of days ago with the borders. So I think I'm going to try play Doha and Dubai. Um, I was in them, I would have been in them last year, but I, I just had a few things going on and a couple, you know, little niggles so I didn't get to play. So I'm hoping to go play those tournaments and then, yeah, have to look at the schedule after that. But hopefully Indian Wells and Miami as well. So that would be exciting. Paul? Yeah, just, um, in terms of uh, ranking, Maddie, uh, have you had to reassess um, where you want to be by the end of the year now, given what you've done this week? I think... Still a huge goal is top 100. Um, so, yeah, this week helped a little bit with getting me a, a bit closer, but there's still... I actually don't know what I do go to <laughs> after today. I think someone said, like, one, 115, maybe. Um, so, yeah, there's still... There's a big gap between 115 and 100, so still a lot of work to do, but I think I can do it if I keep playing like I did this week.
Mark? You talked earlier in the week about how you weren't able to go home for Christmas and then you touched on the, the announcement and everything that's happened the last couple of days. Yeah. What's your take as someone from Perth and has family there and just not being able to see them after you've been away for so long? Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, I think it was Thursday morning, oh, yesterday morning, Friday morning to wake up to that news. Um, Cause I, I was really looking forward to them and I think it's been almost a year since I've seen my family, which I mean, so many people are in that situation, but it's just, it's just a bit disappointing, but I'm super lucky. I have really good friends here um, and a really good friend in Melbourne that I can stay with until, you know, I can get back. So I am very lucky in that sense. What is it, I mean, you've kind of touched on it, but what does it mean to actually do what you've done this week in terms of that belonging and belief and, and how do you think it will help you in the next couple of months? Yeah, I think there's still still so much work to do, I think, um, and a lot of things to improve on, which is exciting. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think it's just sometimes... You know, you think maybe I can't get to that next level, but I think this week I really proved to myself and to, you know, the people around me that I do have it in me. And belief does a lot for, like, your game and how you play, I think. So I'm just hoping to channel that and take it into the next tournament. Mark? Have you had a whole bunch of coaches come forward to say they want to coach you and travel with you this year, Maddie? <laughs> no, no, I actually have <laughs> So I need to... I'll need to get that figured out. Um, I have a couple weeks now, or a few weeks before the next few tournaments, so I'll have a little bit of a think about that. You buy yourself something, though. I know you've got to put some of this money into tennis <laughs> and you've got so many expenses, but is there a little little present you're going to get yourself? Oh, I haven't thought about that either. I, I'm sure there will be. I know I really want to treat my, you know, the people I've had around me to a really, really nice dinner or night or something so I'm looking forward to doing that and yeah I'm sure I'll buy myself something nice <laughs>